We are PNW Bushcraft. Follow us as we navigate family, business, and life here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm Heather. And I'm her kid, Mason. We create awesome handcrafted outdoor gear and every day we are looking for our next adventure. Whether it's just to get away and have fun with the family, test new product ideas, or create tiny bushcraft worlds, we're always up to learn or try something new. Here, failure is never a bad thing, and a sense of humor is a must. So take a peek into our world and join us on our PW Bushcraft Adventures. Um, we left the house at 4.15 and we've been driving, oh, I think it's about, oh look, it's 8 o'clock now, so a little under four hours. We're almost to the bottom of Washington and uh, the weather's been pretty shitty, but that's okay. I think that we'll probably get better weather the farther the coast, down the coast we go, so I think we're about mm, 20 minutes outside of Oregon. We're going to shoot over to 101 so we can go down the coast and see some beautiful sights. It's all going, it's going well. So we got a Ford Equinox as our rental car, and it's been great. Potty break. Good thing I yeah, I'm really glad you turned around. Oh, Todd, you're gonna start getting you on film. <laughs> Who's the stranger? <laughs> Who's this person? That's my husband. He's the best road trip buddy ever. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> coming in. We're not trapped, but it feels like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so glad you turned around. Coming for you, Todd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe you found that stove for $40. I found a vintage Primus stove for $40, and you found a table. Oh, uh, collapsible wooden table. I've been looking for those online, and they brand new run $150. We got it for $20. Bucks. $20. Totally worth the stuff. I mean, yeah. a little big for our, um, I don't think it's actually that big. I just think that bag is really big. Yeah. So it was a good stop in Wheeler, Oregon for us. We needed to stretch for a little bit. So. Yeah. You know, antique shop. You can do that. <laughs> Oh, too cute. 
So we just went to this place called Pirate's Plunder, and I'm pretty sure they plundered tacky souvenir gifts. Although we picked up one really cool thing, so it was totally worth the stop. Glass pipes, incense. Oh, and sea balls. Sea balls. Yeah, that's not what they're called. What are they called? We just wanted to do a quick travel of day one to our trip to Blade Show, and um, we made it all the way to Coos Bay, Oregon. Yep. It was a good drive. We had sunshine, rain, overcast. Yeah, that was a trip. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but the, the mist and the rain made for some great pictures along the coast. Yeah, and if you're ever going to travel down 101, give yourself a lot of time, because we would have pulled into probably 20 places yeah. if we were on some sort of time frame. There was tons of campgrounds. It was absolutely beautiful and totally worth it. But yesterday we left the house at 4.15, I think, mm -hmm. right? And I think we checked in here at 7.30. But we didn't drive the whole time. We did have lunch and hit a really, couple of really cool antique shops. So yeah. it was a good first day on the road. So it's rainy and dark and icky this morning. Mm -hmm. And we are going to go hit a Redwood Forest Park. And then we're going to try to make it to Santa Cruz. Yeah. Cross our fingers. <laughs> reliving every Ewok fantasy as a kid. people it would take to hug it.
I've only been on a ski lift once. All right. Well, I've never been on an actual one with my skis because I don't ski. But I've. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. <laughs> It just loops around and brings you back down. No, oh, we get off to the top. Oh. I'm on top of the mountain. the day of Blade Show. Um, we spent 10 hours driving yesterday and uh, pretty much just got room to our room and crashed. We haven't been able to explore the areas we're staying, so we're really excited. The trip home is gonna be um, much slower so we can sightsee. Um, we did really one really cool stop yesterday at Trees of Mystery and that was totally worth it, but otherwise we were just putting miles behind us so we could get there. So the agenda for today is a six hour drive to um, get to the Long Beach Convention and then we will set up and um, go check into our room that we get to stay in for a few days. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway, um, this is fun, but driving driving 10 hours a day is a little bit exhausting. I think next time I'll, I'll plan us a little more drive time, but you know, I'm always ambitious when we plan that we're gonna get there really fast. So <laughs> live and learn. Cool. It's almost seven in the morning. The next right onto Aptos Beach Drive. We're headed to Blade Show. We just stayed at the Rio Sands in Santa Cruz. Oh, there's the water and palm trees. <laughs> I'm very Californian. <laughs> Okay, so um, we upgraded just a little bit to a corner room with a view. Check it out. When we made the reservation, we got two double beds and that didn't sound like any fun. Look at that, the Queen and Mary. Our guy Mark just told us where all the good stuff was to go. He was super hopeful. Oh, people are headed on a cruise. We um, got our stuff mostly set up, but you know, you walk away from it, so we didn't leave everything set up. We're excited about tomorrow. Should be a blast. <laughs> All right, we're here. How are you feeling, Todd? I'm oh, just fine. How was set up? It was fairly quick and easy. We're all pros at it now. I know, I totally feel like we did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't end up putting everything out because we don't want to leave everything out overnight. So no. we'll set the rest up in the morning. And our room, is awesome. It's, wow. Yeah, that's all I have to say. We're very happy with our room. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the palm trees. Uh, it's the morning of Blade Show. We've got everything ready to go over. We're going to go down and get some breakfast before we head over to set up. But some cruise ships pulled in last night outside 
in the harbor, which is pretty cool. So I'm really excited about today. We had a few people stop by and talk to us at the booth yesterday, and we were only there for like half an hour. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun seeing people today. And hopefully we make a lot of sales. I mean, that's the whole point of coming to the show. Must be a pretty big marathon. That's a lot of toilets. finished day one of Flinchio yep. in Long Beach, California, and it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, we, we made some sales, yep. we made some great connections, and um, we had quite a few people come find us for wholesale. Yeah. Which yeah, was which really, really cool, and we were really surprised. I mean, they searched us out, knew about our company, were excited to talk about us. So, yeah, I would say day one was a very good season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, sure. and I can't wait to meet more people tomorrow. They expect twice the people who show up tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, so things we did learn, we should have packed beverages. <laughs> it got really thirsty, but man, there was some really beautiful stuff there too. So yeah, it was really exciting. So hopefully tomorrow will be even better. See ya. Like it's gonna be another beautiful morning in California. And way over here, there are hundreds of people running. Um, we don't know what that's about, but we'll probably find out. We got back from our show yesterday and we were a bit hungry, so we ordered some pizza and some cheesy bread and some dessert pizza and um, might have overestimated so today's lunch at the show will be pizza still closing but I'd say about half the booths have pulled down their stuff and headed out getting back to nature going into the woods exploring what's around me gonna learn what I should birds and bears and berries there's so much to see Much to see, lush and green and beautiful as can be. Pacific Northwest bushcraft is what we call ourselves. Getting back to nature, my family and 